In this video we'll be looking at line breaks, column widths and also changing the format of a heading. Now in NAC, NAC's a responsive web application and as I run on a widescreen monitor it will scale the width of the columns to fit the page. Now in this example here I have a column that says home telephone contact number which leaves me quite a lot of white space next to the telephone number. Ideally I'd like to wrap the words and have a line break between telephone and contact number to reduce this column width. Also on the email column it's auto fitted this column to work on the table but given me some white space next to the email address and I'd like to reduce this column width down to the uh, widest email address and then lastly change the word email to a different color and put an icon in front of it. So going into the builder navigate to the table and I'm going to click onto the column heading to open up the column properties and on the header I'm going to remove the space between telephone and contact and put the line break tag. I'm also going to set the custom width to 50 pixels. Now the column won't fit to 50 pixels but NAC will, kind of, will constrain it to the, as small as it possibly can. So I'm going to save back to the live app, do a page refresh and you can now see there's a line break on the home telephone contact number. So now I want to do the same on the email column. So come back to the builder, click on the column heading and just click custom and I don't change this 50 pixels works well as I say it's not going to be able to reduce that to a 50 pixel wide column so it will take it down as small as it can. Save back to the live app and refresh and you'll now see that it's constrained this column to fit the widest email address. So the last thing to do is just I want to change this email heading here. So back into the builder and on the email column the great thing about NAC is you can use HTML straight into these fields. So I paste some HTML into here, which sets the color and the font size and the word email. I think I'm going to take this down to 18 pixels. 20 might be a bit big. Unfortunately, it doesn't show that in the live preview, but it will show it in the app. So save that. Back to the live app and refresh, and you can now see we've got a pink word email. Go back into the builder, I'm just going to reduce that down to um, 16 pixels and I'm also going to put an icon uh, in front of the word email which is between the brackets. So on a Windows PC you can use a Windows key and a semicolon to bring up the emojis palette. If you're using a, a Mac uh, you'll need to use a control plus command plus space and that will give you the, uh, the same palette. So from here I'm just going to type envelope and choose an envelope envelope or envelope put a space between the envelope and the word email save back to the live app and do a refresh and we now have a little uh, icon and the email word in pink so hopefully this shows there's a number of things you can do to kind of clean up and customize your views and your columns hope you found this useful and i'll catch you on the next one